So I am about to open a 31 year old copy of Brand Club's Football Fortune and I will probably never see another one ever again and I'm actually nervous. Okay, so this is Brian Clough's Football Fortunes in all its unopened glory. A nervous moment. The thing can never go back, of course. And then I'm just going to break the seal on the box at this point. And that's it. 31 years of sealed is now unsealed. Let's see what we've got inside. So we have, to start with, the rule book. Very useful. Tells us how to play the game. Um, everything regards how to move on the board, how to install the application, various other things. As this is mint and unopened, we have a perfect set of player cards, which is absolutely great. And it ranges from Gordon Cowns, who you may never have heard of, Brian Talbot, who you probably definitely, definitely have never heard of, Steve McManaman, who was Liverpool legend, Kevin Sheedy, great for Everton, one of the few, Ronnie Whelan, and of course they all have all of their ratings as well. Um, there are a few disgraceful ratings that we may come across. Ian Rush was, was my legendary player as a child. Mark Hughes was Manchester United player, who was great as well. Um, but we'll talk about some of the disgraceful ratings a little bit down the line. And if we find John Aldridge, here we go. John Aldridge, who was actually the top scorer in the league for Liverpool in 1987 when the game came out. Uh, unfortunately, he's a one star. Next so we have the game board. Similar to Monopoly in some ways. Um, so you've got your auctions, for example, which is how you buy players. You've got your selection problems, which are cards that will affect your team. Um, you've got your wages, and you have to pay your squad's wages. You've also got sponsorship, where you'll get some money from some sponsors and various other things. And you have your manager's luck, which tend to affect the club rather than the team. And we also have money, um, which in the game is used to buy players, uh, pay fines, various other things. And, and it's remarkable just how little money you needed in football in the 1980s. So um, then we have our player counters, which are your absolutely bog standard um, player counters, as you would see in, in Tiddly Winks or various other things. Um, so no, no expense spared on these. Um, and then lastly, of course, we have, in this case, a tape, which was for the Commodore 64 computer. And of course, we won't need these in the modern era. And, and some people watching this may never have seen a tape. That's a tape. That's how useless tapes were. Um, but you required them for this game. And that is the unboxing of a mint condition 31-year-old copy of Brian Clough's Football Fortunes.